Okay, everyone, we've worked to a good number. We've got 33 already, and there's a few more piling in, but uh, we'll kick off anyway, and the, the rest can join. Um, so welcome to uh, this session. This is the ASU virtual tour. Uh, for those of you who don't know myself, my name is Guy Young. I'm one of the senior international marketing managers for Middle East and North Africa, um, and I look after the U.S. side of things for, for that region. Um, I'm joined by my colleague, Miles Campos, who will be the speaker for this session today. Um, just a few little things quickly before we do start. Um, after this session, we have the Pace virtual tour coming up, starting straight after. Uh, also the Simmons tour and also a great session on architecture at ASU as well. So if you want to uh, jump over to those after this session, they'll be starting immediately after. Um, also, any questions you have, please stick them in the Q&A box. Um, we're going to leave about half of this session, um, this 30 minute session to answering those questions as well. So if you do have any, put them in there and uh, Miles will get to them towards the end. And uh, with that said, I will hand over to Miles. Over to you, Carl. Perfect. Thanks, Guy. Um, hi, everybody. My name is Miles Campos. Um, I'm talking to you from Tempe, Arizona. Um, got some beautiful weather here. I think it's about 28, 29 degrees here today. So, um, so really, really nice here. So today I'm gonna to be giving you an overview of the campuses here at ASU and um, the closest we can come to a little bit of a tour of them as well. Um, so I will go ahead and share my screen and start off with that. Okay, hopefully you're all able to see that. Okay, um, so let's get started. So um, to start off with, here at ASU, um, we have five different campuses for students to choose from. Um, usually when people hear, you know, five different campuses, you have multiple campuses, they start thinking of a university system or kind of the more traditional model of a main campus with satellite campuses. And that is not what we have here at Arizona State University. Although we have five different campuses, we always say that it's one university in multiple places. So these five campuses, um, there's really no distinction between them being different parts of the university. It really just is based on a student's major, which campus to study at. Um, our transcripts don't differentiate which campus you, came, you studied at. Our diplomas don't say what campus you graduated from. Um, it really is, uh, one university in multiple places. So when a student comes and studies here, it's actually not that odd for them to take classes at more than one campus. Um, so it's pretty normal for students to maybe study at multiple campuses, for professors to teach at multiple campuses. Um, so what I'll do is go through these five campuses and hopefully give you a little bit of a feeling for, for the differences between them. I'll go ahead and start off with a quick video, um, just kind of an overview of, of all of the campuses. me up gets me so excited uh, so so the first campus I'll talk about is our downtown Phoenix campus so um, this campus is right in the middle of downtown Phoenix which you may or may not know is the fifth largest city in the US so Phoenix is bigger than Boston it's bigger than Philadelphia it's bigger than DC it's bigger than Seattle so it is a big major city and the students studying here are right in the heart of it 
for students studying majors like global management, public health, journalism, law, um, public administration, these kinds of majors, they're going to be right in downtown. So, I mean, really exciting there, a lot of energy, great nightlife. Um, you can see on the bottom right, um, that big building in the front is our basketball stadium. The big building behind it is our baseball stadium. Um, this is only about a 10 minute walk from the campus. So for students that want to go see sports games, there's a lot of concerts here. Um, great place to study. You can see this campus, the gym here actually has a real cool. Um, it's probably one of the few places, it's the only place I know of in the entire university where faculty and staff are not allowed. It is 100% students only. Um, so they can be hanging out at a rooftop pool just like they were in a, a hotel in Dubai or something like that. So I'll show you a quick video to so you can see a little bit more of what I'm talking about here. I absolutely love living at the downtown campus. I love the small community. You honestly get to know your classmates and your teachers are super nice. So I just love that I feel like I'm not alone. You see business people, you see students. People from a lot of different backgrounds, a lot of different cultures. People that are very like relaxed and cool, but also very professional. Living in downtown, you're close to everything. We have the opportunity to live downtown, like in the heart of a city that's growing. I think the biggest thing that stands out for people is First Fridays. We have Roosevelt Row. There's a lot of local markets around that you can just walk to. There's a cityscape with more restaurants. We can go watch Suns games, we go to Diamondbacks games. The nightlife is really pretty. The city is all lit up. Having the light rail so close to campus makes it very convenient to go to Tempe. You'll just turn a corner and you'll probably find something that'll pique like anybody's interest. Living in Taylor Place is so convenient. I absolutely love it. So we actually scan in to get into our buildings, which makes it very safe downtown. I'm in Barrett the Honors College, so all the students on my floor are Barrett students. It's easier to find people to go hang out with, study with. Based on your major, there's different clubs you can join. Internships are pretty much five to ten minutes away, if not on campus. You meet connections with people every day, you network every day. That's pretty much what your entire experience is here. You really make these great connections that are gonna stay with you for the rest of your life. So the next campus I wanna talk about is Polytechnic Campus. Um, now, sometimes people hear the word Polytechnic and that brings to mind certain associations they might have for universities in their countries. Um, it really just means that it's a technical, it's mostly focusing on engineering and technical majors. So that's what most of the students here are studying. Um, so for students that are interested in things like robotics, alternative energy, um, flight, aviation, the software engineering, these kinds of majors are going to take students to the Polytechnic campus. Now, one thing that to me is out the most when I walk around the Polytechnic campus is how I hardly ever see a classroom. It's almost labs. Every time you see students there, they're in labs. Anytime you see students in class, they're in labs. So it's a very hands-on style of education that students are going to get here. Um, from the very first day, they're in labs working with tools, and it's not, it's very applied rather than a little bit more theoretical. Uh, but that means when they graduate, they have a lot of experience um, in lab and getting things done. Um, so again, a very engineering-focused campus. Um, this campus also has its own airport. Um, so I'm not sure how many universities that have their own airport, but we do. Um, so for students that want to do things like um, air traffic management, these kinds of programs, they're going to be at the Polytechnic campus as well. Um, so again, I'll show you a quick video on that. Being a student here is really, really amazing. The campus is absolutely beautiful. You have nice, relaxing places where you can sit and do homework. A lot of the buildings here are new. Tons of clubs on campus. Everything on this campus is shaped to the majors that are here. What we have are classes that are focused on doing rather than learning about doing. You get to jump into the program starting off with projects. There's so much opportunity. It feels busy just because everybody has something that they're doing. Teachers at Poly are friendly. They know you by name immediately. You see them around campus. They say hi. There's always someone here that can answer any questions you have. You're instantly going to make friends. 
You're gonna meet people that you naturally just connect with, that you vibe with. And the cool thing is, is once you get like a group of friends, you kind of help each other reach each other's goals. The dorms are very nice, I and mean, there's always something going on. I love how it's a community. It's not like I come here and I feel like I'm at school. I come here and I feel like I'm at home. That's one of the reasons why I love the Poly Campus. It's a smaller portion of ASU, but you still get that, that big impact that you might be looking for. So uh, the next campus, and this is the one that I spend most of my time at. It's the one that I studied at, and it's the one that I live right next to as well is the Tempe campus. So usually when people think are thinking of Arizona State University um, or just a US university with the kind of experiences that, they're, that they might be looking for, they're thinking of the Tempe campus. Um, this is our campus. It has the most majors, it has the students. Um, so it's a really, really big campus. For students that are studying majors like business, um, a lot of the engineering majors like civil, electrical, mechanical are gonna be here. Um, sustainability will be here. Um, so a lot of like a lot of the more popular majors for international students will be at the Tempe campus. If you've never been to the Tempe campus, it's really difficult to imagine just the scale of the campus. It really is like it's like its own city. It's absolutely massive. Um, we've got about 10 or 12 dorms, three libraries, three or four gyms, four or five cafeterias. Um, just a huge scale. Um, you can see on the bottom left our football stadium. So when we do have games here, this will hold 50,000 students at one time. So that stadium is the size of what you usually find from like a national soccer stadium. Um, on the bottom right is our theater on campus. So this theater was actually designed by a really famous architect named Frank Lloyd Wright. Um, it was originally designed to be the National Theater of Iraq put in Baghdad. Um, it was not put there. Instead, it was put on the Tempe campus. So we've got theaters that are designed to be national theaters, football stadiums the size of national stadiums. So just a really, really huge scale of a campus. Um, really bustling, really active, always things going on. Um, and that's just kind of the feeling that students will get here at the Tempe campus. So again, for you. It's really cool that Tempe has the biggest campus because there's always something going on, whether uh, you have class at 7 a.m. or 7 p.m. I think it's one of the most active places around, playing sports or you can go to the gym. There's always something going on all times throughout the day. So the State is one of those big top tier research schools. There's a lot of opportunities for internships. There's so many groups that you can get involved in, hundreds. There's international clubs, environmental clubs. I've had a couple classes that have like 20 kids and you get to know the teacher really well. Through the lectures, you'll find all different types of people there. You can always learn from people after class or through a teacher's office hours. I feel like uh, there is a lot of resources to offer to the students. You can really find anything you'd like to do. There's so many cool people around. Everyone's willing to help. Everyone's willing to offer a hand if you need help. I came here not really knowing anybody. I came here from the East Coast. I met a lot of people here from, you know, China, India. I have a friend from Spain. I have one from Dubai, one from Sri Lanka, a lot from California. It, it's crazy to see how we're all really alike, even though we're from different places. The feeling of school spirit is like overwhelming. It's really cool. Football games are awesome. Uh, the atmosphere is incredible. Like you're just excited to be a Sun Devil and be there on uh, game day. People get really into it. Love it. We wouldn't be anywhere else. As soon as the fireworks start, we get started. Tempe is great. It's warm weather all the time. There's a lot to do here. There are a lot of outdoor activities. You can go to a mountain and hike. You can go to Popico Park and show up the park. You can do paddle boats on the lake, Tempe, you can just walk, you can walk there. Gamage Auditorium, amazing Broadway shows that, you know, most people are flying to New York to see that. Just hop right on over and maybe even get half price tickets. Living on campus was really cool. It's more convenient when you live on campus. It's nice to live on campus because you get the sense of community, especially if you're a transfer student or a freshman. Well, I love the amount of people and energy that we bring to this campus, the uh, amount of different backgrounds that we have here. It's always kind of like a sense of Wow, I actually go to school here. We're all a big ASU family. So kind of on the opposite end of this big bustling campus is the West Campus. So West Campus, it's more like a liberal arts college or a small private school kind of feel. Um, so for students that are looking for a little bit of a more intimate experience, uh, maybe a little bit of a more of a quieter experience, um, a lot of them are going to be choosing to study at the West Campus. Um, and the fact that it does feel a little bit more like a legend is reflected in the majors as 
here you're going to find things like uh, political science, forensic science, um, psychology, sociology. Um, these kinds of programs are going to be a little popular at, at the West Campus. Um, personally, I think it's probably the most campus of any of them. Um, it's always about these well manicured lawns, trees, a lot of greenery. Um, everything's laid out very, very nicely. It's just a beautiful campus and a really nice place to study. Um, on the top left, you can see the gym. Uh, I think this is probably the best gym of any of us. Um, on the top floor is all the running machines and cycling machines and things like that. When you're up there, you can be on your machine looking out to the and see mountains out in the distance. It's a really nice place to go for a run. So a quick video on West Campus. What I love about West Campus is the family. Everybody who comes here, we're all accumulated into this wonderful family that we have here. What I like to say is a private school feel with like the large university opportunity. I'm involved as well as I live on campus. The dorms are pretty big. I get my own room, I get my own closet and bathroom. There is so much to do and there's always activities around. I joined some clubs and then we went to Thai food, uh, Mexican food. The opportunities here are endless. The professors here want you to do research for them. Especially if you're able to reach out to the faculty that you have classes with. You know, you can definitely get in the door with them. Class sizes are great. I don't think it could be really any better. They're even smaller than they were in high school. I can actually expect to talk to the teacher right after class. Being in the Barrett Honors College, I meet people who have different beliefs and different opinions, and we share that with one another. When I talk about military experience, people like to hear my stories. We're all laid back really, really open and accepting. I just love that I get to come here and it's peaceful and it's rejuvenating and I'm doing really well in my classes and then I get to take the shuttle and go to Tempe and go to the football games and be a part of this bigger community that is ASU and all the fun that happens. So our last campus is the Lake Havasu campus. And Lake Havasu actually is not in Phoenix. It's in a much smaller town. Um, about right in the middle of Phoenix, Las Vegas, and Los Angeles. So um, a little place out, out um, between these cities. Now, Lake Havasu campus is pretty special. It's the smallest campus, definitely. Um, it's got a little bit of a limited selection of majors, but it does have some great majors like business, um, biology, tourism, and recreation management. Um, but one thing that's really special about Lake Havasu campus is that the tuition here is only about $10,000 US. So that's about the same price as going to a community college here in the United States. Um, and for that price, students can get a great education at Arizona State University, again, with the same degree they would get anywhere else. Um, Lake Havasu is, it, it's a great city. So Lake Havasu is pretty famous vacation city here in the US, um, especially a warm weather vacation city. So. A lot of people from northern states, a lot of Canadians will have vacation homes here. Um, they'll come here in the winter to get out of the cold. So you'll find a lot of resorts here, a lot of golf courses, um, hotels, outdoor recreation, really fun, fun place um, for people to come vacation and for students to study as well. Um, as you can tell by the name, Lake Havasu, it's right on a lake and a river. Um, so water sports are a are big activity here. Um, students can go wakeboarding and jet skiing um, all the time if they want to. Um, you can probably see in this picture as well, uh, a, a bridge going across the river. So this actually is the original London Bridge. The London Bridge, everybody knows, the London Bridge with the song about it falling down, this is that bridge. So uh, for, um, this, as far as I understand, the city of London wanted to sell off the bridge. Um, a really rich guy from Arizona came and bought it shipped it back to Arizona brick by brick and rebuilt it here in Lake Havasu. I have no idea why, um, but it's just, a, I think, a really fun story for, um, uh, for, for people to know about Lake Havasu. So I'll show you one last video um, on Lake Havasu, and then we'll see if there are any questions. I picked ASU Havasu because this community and it's small, but it's kind of like a good thing it's small. 
because you get to know everyone. The biggest thing I like out here too is everything is close. Oh, it's beautiful. The temperature is always nice here. The scents are amazing right here. It's nice to go down and chill at the beach. And I love to go hiking, kayaking, paddle boarding, volleyball outside. I'm very athletic, so I'll play beach volleyball almost every single day. Yeah, it's awesome. Everybody's great. They're as friendly as can be. They try to make you feel at home. You stay in the dorm. It's a great place to live. Oh, it's a family. And they're all opposites, yet we all match so well together. Like only like 10, maximum 20 students in the class. It's like a family. So teachers got to know you so much better. You're not a number. You see your professors, you can interact with them. My lab classes I love for science because we're actually we're in the field most of the time. We're down by the lake or in one of the wildlife foundations. My last semester alone, I've built things on my resume that it takes people three or four years to do. So it's not just stuck in the classroom learning, you're learning outside the classroom. Um, it's a very different experience, but it's a good experience. Okay, great. So I hope that kind of gives you an overview of, um, of the different campuses and you can get a, get a good feeling for them. Um, I'm not sure if we have any questions, but we can go ahead. We do, Miles. We have a question from uh, Eliana, who is asking, if a major is offered at more than one campus, are the students free to, free to choose which campus to attend? And if that is possible, can a student be accepted to one campus, but not another, or vice versa? Okay, a couple questions there. So um, if a major is offered at more than one campus, is the student free to attend, attend free to choose which campus to attend. Yes, they are, absolutely. So there are some majors that might be at more than one campus, and there are some majors that might be only at one campus. So if they wanna study psychology, for example, that's offered at a lot of campuses. Um, yeah, they'll be admitted to Arizona State University, and that admission is not for a specific campus. Um, so they can choose which one they want to attend. Um, they'll wanna indicate which one they're applying to in their application, but the application requirements are, would be the same. Um, as long as it's the same major, uh, pretty much any campus. Um, and again, if they came here and decided that they wanted to st study the same major at a different campus, they, they're free to they're free to choose to change campuses as well. That's really a non-issue. Um, is it possible for a student to be accepted to one campus but not the other? No. Um, like I said, it's the same university. Um, they're applying to a major, not to a specific campus, so um, it would be the same. Can we access those? Videos? Sorry, go for us. Sorry, go um, ahead. I was just going to say, um, with the changing of campuses, if a student wanted to do a year or two at Lake Havasu, for example, that uh, that major was offered there, and also one of the main four in Phoenix, would that be possible as well? Students do do that, yeah. And the question from Daniel is, can we access those videos to share with our students? Yeah, those are all on YouTube. Um, so if you go to Arizona State University's YouTube channel, those are all on there. Okay, um, I'm not sure if there are any other any other questions. I was going to ask Miles just some of the questions I get most regularly. Uh, how do students <laughs> move around from campus to campus? So we do have shuttles that are. Um, that go from campus to campus. So if students want to go from Tempe to West or Polytechnic or anything like that, um, we have shuttles. They run from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. Um, every day. Uh, they run every 15 minutes. They're free for our students. There's Wi-Fi on the buses. Um, so for students to get back and forth between the campuses, it's it's very, very convenient. And even if I have to go to campus for a meeting, for example, I'll take, I would much rather take the shuttle than drive myself. Another question, Miles. Um, what is the benefits of a student being in Phoenix as a city? Well, like I said, Phoenix itself is a is a huge city. A um, lot of resources here for have access to not just fun stuff while they're studying. It is a fun place, fun place to come study. But once they graduate as well, um, you know, it's one of the best places for young people. It's one of the best places to career, especially if you're working in something related to engineering or tech. Um, massive growth in that area of jobs in, in this part of the country. Um, another thing that I think is really important for a lot of students and especially the parents is that the cost of living here in Phoenix is actually lower than the national average, while salaries tend to be a little bit than the national average. I don't know why that is, 
but that is the case. So for example, um, if a student wants to go to LA to study, um, it's pretty normal for them to be paying $1,500, $1,600 per month for a bedroom. They're sharing an apartment, that's the cost of a bedroom. For that same price here in Phoenix, you can get a three bedroom apartment with three bedroom, two bathroom apartment all to yourself. So if you are sharing an apartment with friends, uh, your, your share of the rent for your room is probably closer to about $500. Um, so major differences in cost of living um, compared to a lot of other big cities around here. We have another question, Miles. Uh, how does ASU compare with other similar universities in terms of graduate uh, employability? Good. Um, it, it, it does, it, it compares well. Um, very high ranking for graduate employability. Um, Wall Street Journal actually ranked ASU number five in the country for, for employability. So what Wall Street Journal did was they basically asked like the 200 largest companies, um, where are you hiring your new graduates from? Um, in other words, what universities are producing graduates that are getting job offers from your companies? And ASU was ranked number five in the country for where they were coming from. Um, top 10 in the US for graduates going to go work in Silicon Valley and in the tech industry. Um, so really good employment statistics as well. Um, good starting salaries as well. Um, so the average starting salary for an undergraduate or graduate student, if they stay here in Phoenix, is enough to house, buy a car, uh, live a pretty good life here. Excellent. Thanks, Miles. Um, I think we're going to be wrapping it up now. We have about a minute left. So um, I just wanted to say thank you, Miles, for, for giving us your time today. That was excellent. Really nice to see each campus as well. And um, if anyone does have any questions after this, please reach out to any of your Kaplan staff around the world. Uh, they'll be able to answer anything else you have. And as Miles said, all those videos are available. ASU has a very extensive YouTube library. So if you want to check them out and send to your students, they are there. So thank you very much. Thank you, Guy, and thank you everyone for attending. Uh, and now, bye now. Thanks.